Hello, I'm uh, Dr. Matthew Sim. How are you feeling today? Hope you're feeling striking. If you're feeling sad, uh, go for a swim. Maybe plan for a trip to Paris, France. Uh, while you're there, visit the Louvre and uh, take a shot of yourself with the famous statue Venus de Milo. I enjoyed it when I was there. Right, Paris is a beautiful place. EP Sae. Okay, today I'd like to talk about the Sharp Ratio. Uh, S-H-A-R-P Ratio. According to this, uh, it's developed by William Sharp in 1966. According to Investopedia, the Sharp Ratio is the average return earned in excess of the risk-free uh, rate per unit of volatility or total risk. Alright, that's what it says. In a mathematical form, the Sharp Ratio is equal to the expected portfolio return minus the risk-free rate and everything divided by the portfolio standard deviation. The risk-free rate is usually the rate of uh, the US Treasury bills. Okay, And the idea is that uh, subtracting the risk-free rate from the mean return uh, the performance associated with whatever you're investing can be isolated. Okay, the bottom line is um, it doesn't work well for everything. Um, whatever you're calculating must have a normal distribution. And what you're looking for in terms of sharp ratio is that it has to be the number one and above. One and above. It doesn't mean that you don't invest if the sharp ratio is below one, but your risk is uh, even higher. All right, if you have a sharp ratio of one and above, generally it's good, provided that it's, there's some normality to it. Now, nothing is perfect. Uh, William Sharp won a Nobel Prize for some of his works. So take it, think independently and decide for yourself. Boom.